We all know exercise is good for us, but during spaceflight and exploration missions, it is essential for maintaining healthy bones, muscles, and heart. On Earth, a woman over 50 who is untreated for bone loss can lose 2% of hip bone mass in one year. In space, astronauts can lose the same amount in a single month. Additionally, muscle mass and strength can be reduced as much as 20 to 40% during long duration missions. Astronauts exercise up to two and a half hours a day, six days a week to minimize the negative effects of space flight on their bodies. Exercise has the added benefit of reducing stress and contributing to an overall feeling of well-being. The aerobic exercise of running or cycling promotes the circulation of oxygen and nutrient-rich blood to all parts of the body. Astronauts on the International Space Station, or ISS, have a new advanced treadmill, the Colbert, respectfully named after television personality Stephen Colbert. Astronauts and researchers are excited about the Colbert because it offers greater running speeds than the original treadmill and is also instrumented so that load data can be collected during running. This will help ensure each crew member is getting an optimal workout. Resistive exercise, like lifting or moving a mass, is also key to strengthening and toning muscles and increasing bone mass. Ordinarily, this works because gravity pulls weight down and we pull it back up. During space exploration, where gravity is reduced, astronauts need a device to mimic the resistance normally provided by gravity. The Advanced Resistive Exercise Device, or ARED, simulates weight-bearing exercise. Travel to Mars and beyond will require longer exposure to reduced gravity. There is much for us to learn before we can attempt long-duration missions. However, exercise, coupled with proper nutrition and possibly medications, will help to combat the effects of radiation, reduced gravity, and stress.